Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours a true of course, the Scarander. And today we're going up against Phoenix Master 1. And I'm sure you guys know exactly this guy. Or if you aren't, then make sure to of course check him <laughs> check him out in the links down below. Uh, he's a very, very good content creator, both in of course Pokemon, but very he's very good at Super Smash. I really enjoy his content from Super Smash. So anyway you want to watch at it, just check him out really. And um, he asked me for a battle um, at the start of this week, and we decided to go for an RU game. And basically, I'm going to use the team that I've been using so much in RU that I feel really comfortable with. And um, his team is really tough, very bulky and very fast. And we both Togetic, Flygon, Meloetta, Houndoom, Jellicent, and Steelix. Now, biggest threat in his team is actually Steelix. Um, I have two Pokemon I can deal with, which would be in the Clawlister and um, Electro. Electros. But besides that, um, I can't really hurt it. It's so defensively massive that even if I do super effective damage to it, it will still take it and retaliate. And Houndoom could be an issue. I need to get up to stick web, but at the same time, I can't get up to stick webs uh, before dealing with the Togetic, which actually can deal with the majority of my team due to typing. So, really scared of that. And um, just basically here, I'm gonna decide to play real aggressive. And start with the Clawlister because Clawlister can outspeed Jellicent, it can outspeed and even kill Steelix, and it can deal with Flygon somewhat. So that was my main idea, and basically hope that uh, I get enough momentum to pull that off. So, anyway, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. So, one might call me lucky here from the get go because he will definitely start with, of course, the um, Steelix here, and uh, I am no position of really old predict first turn. Uh, I was tempted going for a Dark Pulse, but at the same time, uh, I did not like a situation where I do take an EQ from a Mega Steelix. Uh, so I basically decided to go for the Skull here, and he will go for the Jellicent, that's fine. Now, I believe that Jellicent naturally outspeeds Clawlister, but since I am, uh, I am modest, but max speed, uh, basically to be able to deal with Jellicent. He decides to go for Toxic, probably predicting a switch out here. Um, and yeah, that actually works really well in my favor. And this yellow scent is definitely down for the count. And this chlorolyzer is basically, it is designed to deal with yellow scent because it's so godly uncommon in um, <laughs> in the RU. And uh, I decided not to go for life orb because I don't really like residual damage. And luckily, it doesn't really pay off. Uh, or wouldn't pay off in this situation anyway. Same way the Jellison's gonna go down, and um, his Meloet is now gonna come in, and due to me using Meloet with Assault Vest and having it special oriented, I decided to go into my Electros to do in some uh, residual damage on it with Wall Switch and whatnot, but he will go for a Relic Song, which means that this thing is physical. That also means that it now outspeeds everything on my team, and that also means that shit just started, and I just... I had nothing to um, really switch into this close combat, I just had to sack my Electros. And of course that's really bad, because that is really not how I want to sack my specially oriented <laughs> Electros to this thing. I just, damn, such a bad play, and I was really feeling it there. So anyway, I decided to go to Quantum Mill because I am sashed, and um, I needed to take a hit and really retaliate. That was my only real call to make here, and he's gonna go to his Togetic, that's fine. And the Leaf Store, of course, will do nothing here. And this is actually the first time I'm going up against a Togetic in RU. And I must say, I get well this here. It's just so freaking bulky. And like I said, it can deal with so many things in this tier. So anyway, I'm gonna go back to Legion. Basically, because I know I can take a Dazzling Gleam if he decides to go for that. But that's like go for a Baton Pass. Or, and that is, well, that's kinda cool. You know, I won't deny that fact. That was actually really good. Definitely, definitely seeing. Uh, that I'm gonna switch out. Now, I have some defensive investment in this. I was basically backing on taking a Dragon Claw, but he has the Outrage. But what do you know? Legion is like, no, we're not having this 1 HP. I'm gonna take you with me. And um, yeah, I have now made your momentum. I can't believe it. I took out the Flygon. That means, well, that means everything for me. So at least uh, one of the potential defoggers is gone. Uh, I was so surprised that Clawlister took that outrage, but hey, I'll take it. So anyway, he's gonna go to Steelix again, and uh, <clears throat> I did definitely predict something like that. I'm gonna decide to go with my Quantum Mill, basically setting up my stick web here. Uh, I should probably make a different call. I do have Magic Bounce uh, on my... or Magic Guard, which basically means that I 
retaliate back the stealth rocks, but didn't didn't go for that move, and that's actually kind of bad because he of course get his free stealth rocks, and uh, from this range I did believe here that he is very likely to switch his Togetic, and I have no reason of trying to keep this like sash intact and <laughs> any longer, so I got to decide going to Hauser the Tarantrum, and like I said. It was very likely he's gonna switch his Sogetic, and I am Wildlands instead of Bandit or Scarf, and um, I'm gonna decide to go for a head smash, and of course he's gonna switch out back to Steelix, and uh, you know, I won't blame him, that's the right call, that's four times resisted head smash he's gonna take here, and of course, like I said, Steelix being that massively defensive, uh, he's definitely gonna take this really, really well. And um, yeah, that's quite pitiful to be honest. I think that's like one tenth, maybe not even that. Uh, I'm gonna decide going to counter mill because I can take any stab move we got. Even if we got Iron Head, I will be able to take that and be able to retaliate. But it's gonna show me the heavy slam, and um, that's way worse. I do live it, but like I said, that's still way worse. So I'm gonna decide to go for Leaf Storm and basically do as much damage as possible, and hoping for him to kill me. But he goes for a roar, which um, basically kills my counter mill by default, of course. And Panzer is gonna come in now. And here's where I make a really, really strange call, to be honest with you. Because Drapion is naturally defensive, and I knew that I could definitely outspeed the majority of his team after going for a sword stance. Uh, but I am not able to take this earthquake whatsoever. And we did calculate later, and it turns out that I had like a. He had a 12% chance of taking me out, so I was just... That was just a bad call, to be honest. I should just have gone for damage. I'm doing that this time, but of course it's gonna see right through me. And seeing that a Drain Punch or High Jump Kick is incoming. And uh, Togetic is gonna wall that perfectly well. And... Um, yeah, just that was a very, very pitiful way of losing Grapeon. I can't really <laughs> understate how bad that call was. But anyway, I'm gonna decide to go for an Ice Punch, I'm thinking that probably going to go for Dazzling Gleam, he could go also for uh, a Defog, I saw Defog as a possibility, so I just went for as much damage as possible, he does go for Dazzling Gleam instead. Uh, now, he, that puts me in a very very bad range, but he will surprise me here by switching out, I decided to go for a Drain Punch instead, because I was thinking I could bat him past or something, and he sadly goes to his Meloetta, and we're gonna punish him badly for that, and Meloetta is out, and yeah, I get some great HP back, and I was really, really glad about that, because now the game is back on, um, or at least so I thought, and the Houndoom is gonna come in here, and I decided here to go for damage, predicting that he would probably go for a nasty plot, predicting my switch out, but of course he packs the Sucker Punch, which I did not see coming, sadly, and I am not taking that. I just, I'm not, and that's very, very bad. And I'm gonna go to Hauser here, and I need to pull a Dragon Dance off and survive a Dark Pulse to be able to even, even take out the Steelix. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for that Dragon Dance, and um, yeah, I am faster, which is awesome by default because of the Sick Web. But sadly, guys, I am not able to take this Dark Pulse whatsoever with the Life Orb. There is not a chance in hell that Hauser can take that, and he's gonna fall. And of course, Contamil, my Leveny, due to the Stealth Rocks, is not going to be able to continue this match either. And I, like I said, I did not really consider Sucker Punch on Houndoom. It, that is definitely a bad call on my side. And I had really like, good momentum through and through this game. I even have access to Medicham's Bullet Punch. But I just, I didn't make those calls. I think um, killing Flygon that early, that made me, or that forced me to get so much momentum in the game, really really made me relax and as a direct result of that I just start chilling and um, yeah I think this is really a result of that so yeah I mean wow I did lose very badly here at the end and I definitely had the means of making a difference here at the end but I just didn't make those calls and sometimes it is that simple and I was still very glad to go up against Phoenix Mass 1 I think we were evenly matched through and through the game but me losing Clawlister and Electros early on to not be able to deal with Steelix, that really hindered me a lot because I just, I, I, I have never been put in a situation where my team went down through um, the, such an easy means really. This team has been working very, very well in Showdown and of course on my stream, so 
it never really been pressured like this, and as a direct result of that, and of course me predicting Meloetta all wrong, um, put me in a position where I just, I couldn't have won. I just, I couldn't. Like I said, I had access to Bullet Punch with the Medicham, and I could have played around that, but my opponent still could have played very safe during the end, even with the loss of Meloetta, and um, the result would probably have been the same. Like I said, um, Earthquake would not have been able to take out uh, Steelix from the range of us. Even if I went for the right move with Tarantrum, I would still not have won. It just... It wasn't meant to be this time. And honestly, I didn't mind it. I thought it was a really fun battle. And I thought I think Pietro or Phoenix Best 1 feel the same way. And what do you know? I think our teams really got tested to the max. And um, I've got to say, Togetic, what a champ. And Steelix. I hated this Pokemon for so much because it isn't such a good Mega Pokemon. I think I have to um, take that comment back. Wow, what a champ! It just took so much damage. It really is a perfect wall in this tier. It really is. So anyway, Phoenix Master, I want to thank you for this battle. I enjoyed it quite a lot. And for everybody who's been watching, I want to thank you for doing just that. Make sure to leave a like if you like this battle. And if you're new to this channel, so to subscribe. Remember, the sky's limit. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye.